What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Tyler and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a Crested Gecko tank. Now I'm already starting with a Crested Gecko tank that I made for less than $25. If you want to learn how to make that I'll link the video from that in the description but I'm already going to start off with that. I'm going to show you guys how to set up a fancier tank as well so I'm going to show you two types of tanks. A cheaper option and then a more expensive option. Let's get it started. <music> So I have our tank right here. This is the side that's got the little mesh on it. And then um, the top we've got over there with a the little mesh cut out on it. So basically what we're gonna do first is we're gonna lay down our paper towels on the bottom of the tank. You can use different things as substrates, but for me, it's best since I have so many, it's just easier for me just to use paper towels. So I just do two sets of two paper towels. Then what I typically do is for my females and my males, but for my females I give a little bit deeper of lay boxes, but I'll put in a lay box, so that's just filled with moss, and then I just um, spray it down so it's moist, not soaking wet, but just moist. Some decorations to climb on. I kind of like to do it, so I'll put it kind of right by the lay box, so if they want to climb from like the tree or branches or whatever, they can go straight from there into the lay box something for them to go into typically is what I'll put in there as well. A water dish, very simple so they can get a drink. And then I make branches out of PVC pipe. So if in a tank like this, since I'm giving um, this gecko a tree, I'm going to just do one of these PVC branches, but typically I would do three, four, sometimes even five in my tanks, depending on what I have in there. Um, basically all I do is I drill the hole in the PVC. I drill the hole in the PVC right here. And one on this side as well. And then I just have suction cups that I can stick on the end. On each end, I should say. And then I can place it anywhere that I want to in the tank. And actually for this tank, I'm going to go with a little bit of a smaller one, so I'm going to go with this one instead. You just stick the little suction cup through one side, and then the suction cup through the other. And then you can kind of play with that on where you want it, and how you want to put it, and all things like that. Now, I don't know if anybody else has ever done this on YouTube, but I haven't really really been able to find any um, things like this. But this is one of the easiest and cheapest ways to make gecko branches. They're super easy to clean. Um, there's really nothing bad about them, honestly. Um, they work perfect. As you can see, I'm pushing down really hard, and this thing is not budging. So it should definitely hold the gecko, or if you have multiple geckos in a tank and you're breeding, that should totally be fine. Um, the last and final thing is you've got your plants and then you just kind of what I do is when, when I clean their tanks or when I set up new tanks I just have a couple suction cups and I just kind of figure out a way to move them around there you have it that's pretty much how I set up my crusty gecko tanks I like to leave some areas more um, compact and then some where they're not so compacted and there's a little bit more room. So like on the bottom, I'll leave a little bit of open room, but they also can go inside their things that they can hide in or they can go in their moss. Males and females, I give lay boxes too. I just give females deeper ones so they can lay their eggs, obviously, but that's pretty much it. Just to show you guys a little bit better. So yeah, I mean, it works pretty well. It's really, really cheap, honestly. I mean, even with this tree in here, I think this whole tank probably could cost you, I would say 30 or less dollars. So compared to some bigger tanks that are maybe like $200, that's a pretty good price range, especially if you're gonna have a lot of geckos or multiple geckos like I do. All right, guys, this is actually gonna be Rapunzel's tank. I need to clean her, so I'm just gonna give her this one. Um, this gecko is 13 or 14 years old. I cannot even believe crested geckos can live as long as they do, but they do. I don't really see too many people with really, really old geckos, but... So yeah, this is her. 
She's not really flaring right now, but she is very, very pretty. Oh, okay. Last thing we gotta do is just miss the tank. And that's it. Just gotta put the top on. And that's it. All right guys, now this is another example of maybe a more expensive tank. So like these tanks are called Exoterras and these were pretty much like $200 a piece. And I've got two of them right here, but I'm gonna show you guys this one for now. Um, I basically just do the same concept and kind of ignore the mess. Sorry, it's kind of messy in here. Um, I've got Rusty and Squash in here trying to breed right now. So I think they've been messing up their tank a little bit. But anyway, same thing, you can add a coconut. Um, you know their plants you've got the pvc i just have one up here right now um and then the you know lay box and food and water down there and a couple plants in the middle i kind of have more plants in the bigger ones or the breeding tanks that way if the female or females need to go and hide or get away from the male that they can do that as well but yeah it's relatively simple and easy for most people to do i think i can actually see rusty back here i'll see if i can get him out to show you guys Not really flaring, but way bigger than when I first got him, obviously. Only kind of partially flaring right now. Not flaring at all. Partially flaring. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments if you learned anything new or if you thought of something else or if you have some more ideas too. I'd love to hear them. Um, thank you guys for always watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, comment. I love to hear from you guys. I will see all of you in the next video.